All right, guys, I am back, and I'm going to be continuing my series on Tomb Hunter. I know I've been kind of absent for a little while, but I thought I'd, I would come back and complete this. I know I did stream this about a month ago, but I thought I would complete my series. Uh, so let's get started. The game has been updated. I just thought I would let you guys know there have been a few updates. Uh, mainly correcting bugs and things of that nature. So I'm going to continue where I left off at level seven. Micro Tomb, Tomb Hunter one can start. And that's uh, Microsoft Security Essentials. Sorry about that. Cont level. All right, let's continue. So here we are in level seven. I am. Let's see. Source. I think it's unrealistic to, to jump up ladders. Okay. Okay. Active force field. Scroll. Four feet. An active force. Wall. Cured. Go for okay, so we're gonna walk past all this stuff. No weapons. One. So We have more vanishing platforms and all right. Wall, three feet. Ow. Active force field, two. force field so now we're going through some water and the boulders right behind me I gotta I gotta book it Alright, and that is level 7 completed. Alright. Critically injured. 57 horsepower, 3 lives. I'm gonna let myself die here. And uh, just a tip that I thought I would share that I was told during the live stream of this game. Oh, and I just drowned. And that's what happens if you stay in the water for too long and don't move. But the tip is. A long drowning sequence. Uh, game over. Main continue game. Level eight. Two. All right, let's go ahead and load this. So the tip I have: if you hold down control, you can tap the right or left keys and travel rather quickly in the water like this. So this level is really simple. There's just a bunch of water, and there are items for you to collect. This is a nice change from the last level. We got that.
sword. Three swords. I got some swords. There's a potion. Let me check my potions. Nine potions. Excellent. Force field seven. Ooh. Active force field four. Active force field three. So now we have some uh, force fields here. An active force field two feet full. Level portal, seven feet. And we're done. Now, here we are. Uh, level nine, tomb three. Level nine, and this is where I say this is not tomb hunter, because now we are clearly outside for some odd reason. Yeah, this, th this game should not be called tomb hunter. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to walk along here and collect the items in the air. And that life sound really sounds like the sound from Taco Bell, from those, from those Taco Bell commercials, I swear. Okay, now. Waterfall hazard, bold, six feet. There is a hazard off to my right, and what, what we have to do is get on this rope. Nothing. Nothing. Rope. And climb up here to the tree. And then, uh... Alright, now. Okay, so now I'm on a branch. Let me get the rest of this gold. Gold, one, gold, gold, rope, one. Alright, now. There is a stairwell off to my right. Wood stairs, six feet. Which doesn't really make sense unless this is like a tree house. Now, up here. Four swords. We have a bunch of enemies and some swords and some potions, which you can hear. Uh, so I'm gonna go up. Uh, let's see here. Ooh. 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 Get rid of that thing. Six swords. All right, now I have I have more swords. Fourteen potions. More potions, and some more gold. Let's see. So M for my gold. Forty-three gold. Shift M for my gems. Sixteen gems. We're doing pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna come back down. Bottom of woods. All right. Now I'm on the branch. Eighty foot drop into a waterfall hazard. Ten feet. 80 foot drop into a waterfall hazard, 3 feet. Now. 9 foot drop onto rope, 1 foot. This part is a little tricky. What I'm going to try to do is, let's see. 14 potions, very injured, 114 horsepower, 9 lives. I'm going to drink a, a few potions. And we're going to wait for those to take effect. Go to 585 horsepower. Phenomenal. 585 horsepower, 9 lives, 10 potions. Okay. Now I'm, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna do a Ooh. run jump. Oop. Ooh. Okay, now I'm on some rocks. 55 foot drop into a waterfall hazard, 4 feet. Now. 54 foot drop into a waterfall hazard. 
nine foot drop onto rope, one foot. Basically, what, what I'm doing is I, I am moving the camera to the right by pressing, in, pressing and holding G. And then I'm holding shift while continuing to hold G and hitting down arrow to look from the point of view of the camera. Nine foot drop onto rope, one foot. So, three tiles to my right. Ooh. Now, what I'm going to do Ooh. is, there we go. I have jumped. Ooh. Oh, and that's why you need to pay attention. So let me go back Wood to six. what I was doing here, and then I will tell you what, what was happening. 80 foot drop into a waterfall hazard, 11 feet. 80 foot drop into a waterfall hazard, 3 feet. Okay, now, uh... 55 I'm gonna heal. So what that was basically, when you land in the water, when when you land in the water, there's a boulder that comes at you, and you have to be ready for it, which I was not because I was trying to explain. Fifty-five foot drop into a waterfall hazard, four feet. All right, so let's go over here to the uh, edge of this and jump and continue to. I'm doing a run jump. All right. Basically trying to play keep away with the boulder. Uh, okay. Maglev, sick. So we 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 step on the maglev. It takes me up. Nothing. Scroll. Potion. Scroll. Eight. Okay, I've got eight scrolls. Oop. I got hit. Oop. But that's okay. Critically. Oop. Oop. Take some potions. Oop. Six swords. Four potions. Oop. Great. Poison <laughs> cure. Built to 344. That's okay. Oop. Oop. Nothing. Poison cure. Built to 365. Continuing to travel. Got the scroll. And Level 10, Tomb 4. In order to continue, you have to deactivate a bomb first. You will be read two characters at a time from the paper you picked up, and you'll have to enter them quickly. Are you ready? Okay, so I think I did that. So basically what... I... I I'm sorry, I think I got that paper. Uh, so basically that maglev takes you up, and you just have to ride it all the way up to the end, and then when you hit the top... You just jump by pressing the space bar and you go through that portal. Okay, so now we're in level 10, and for the first part of this, you need to disarm a bomb. It's going to read characters. It's going to read the uh, things like Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, for A, B, C, D, E, F, G, blah, 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 and you need to type those out. So here we go. I'm going to hit, uh, yes. yes, I'm ready. Why? If you hit no, it will take you back to the main menu, and you can quit playing if you need to go do something else or try again. All right, so here we go. Four, five, five, seven, seven, one, one, two, two, one, one, Charlie, Charlie Foxtrot, 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 three. Three Bravo, Bravo five, five seven, five seven, seven one. All right now. Seven sword. We have. Okay, let's collect all the treasure. Uh, there are bombs here. Bomb, two feet. I'm gonna jump over these. Bomb, seven feet. Twelve swords. 
Bomb, four feet. Okay, I'm gonna jump over that. Bomb, five feet. Bomb, eight feet. That is a ghost that... You do not want to get hit by those. They will kill you instantly. Bomb, five feet. Eight swords. Okay. Bomb, ten feet. Five, bomb, four feet. Okay. Four. Bomb, six feet. Three, bomb. Bomb, eight feet. Now, this next part is rather interesting. Checkpoint, two feet. Slightly injured. Bomb, one foot. Ledge, two feet. I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go off. Now, there is a vanishing platform. Now, the trick to this is, well, I'll show you. So let's, uh, Let's go ahead and, and cross this pit. Lava hazard, one foot. Ledge, 22 feet. Now, what it does, it lands you... Bottom of fence stairs, one foot. Ledge, three foot. It puts you on some steps. With, uh, electricity, bottom of fence, electricity, hazard, 10 feet, electricity. It puts you on a ladder with some items. Electricity, bottom of fence, step. electricity, hazard, 7 feet. I'm trying to find that life. Electricity, hazard, 7 feet. Electricity, hazard, 7 feet. Wall, 8 feet. Bottom of fence, Sword, one foot. Fourteen. Uh. Life, four feet. Okay. Now, I'm gonna come back down here. Five swords. Because the, the, the trick to this is to find a hidden ladder along the vanishing platform. And what's nice about this is you, you have to do it before the platform vanishes or else you you will die because you're on it. That is really neat. I think more games need to do this. That is ex extremely clever. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait for the platform to come back since I've been jabbering. And I'm going to walk along it and look to my left with the viewer and find the stairwell. Fan stairs, six feet. Jump. Alright. Twenty foot. Now. <laughs> now that was not well. Not quite what I wanted to do. Uh to pick up time bombs, you hit T. That's what that beeping was. Fan stairs, six feet. That's in six feet. Let's go up. Now. Time bomb, 29 feet. Hit T. And I think you need to collect like 10 of these. 10 or 20. Let's go ahead and do that. No weapons. No. I am out of swords. Great. Oh! A stray wind. Many. 201.2. Okay. Audacity. Gem. Gold. Paper. 201.0. That was not supposed to happen. Hopefully we're still recording. Uh. 
to try that again here, shall we? Fence tires, five feet. No weapons. Ah. This is going to be annoying. I was fine if I hadn't hit that window. Advanced stairs, six feet. Shop. Buy a sword. Buy gold. Sword purchased. You now have 42 gold and one. Buy a sword. Sword. Buy a sword. Sword. Yeah, let's buy some swords. Sword. All right. I should. I should have done that before. Weapon select. Uh, shop. Buy a sword. So you hit Z to access the shop. Sword purchased. And escape to get out of it. Oh. Now. Oh, come on. Really? So, this next part is... One sword. Okay. Potion, paper, gold, gem, time bomb. Fourteen. I need one more time bomb. There we go. Six potions. So. I'm gonna walk along here. Now. Great. Oh. There are falling something. I don't know if there are bombs. And the objective is to get past this, so I'm just gonna walk through here. Oop. Excellent. Four push. Okay. to three hundred. Excellent. Now. Generally, come on. Mm. 
Now, wall one chasm hazard eight feet. This is the part that confused me for quite a while. Uh, basically, you need to jump all the way up. Now, this does not make sense to me because there are hazards, and you would think that jumping up would put you in the hazard. It does not. I don't know. This is one of the dumb parts of this level and of this whole game, I think. Uh, but anyway, I'm just going to hit the space bar. Now there's a portal. All right, there we go. And we are in level 11. Level 11, Tomb 4. Now this level is interesting. One sword. Uh. Amazing. 402 potions. Yeah, okay, let's see. 27 gold. 18 gems. This level is a little weird because you essentially have to keep. Let's see. Let's see. Let's. Shop. Buy a sword. Five gold. Sword purchase. Buy a sword. Sword. Buy a sword. Sword. Buy a sword. Sword purchase. Buy a sword. Buy a gem. Six. Ooh. 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 Okay. Ooh. 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 One sword. Ooh. 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 No potions. Ooh. Excellent. Ooh. Shop. Buy a sword. Sword purchase. Sell a sword. Sell a gem. Three gold. Gem sold. You now have five gold and seventeen gems. Sell a life. Sell a sword. Two. Sell. Buy a. Sell a gem. Gem sold. Sell a sword. Sell a life. So I'm gonna sell some gems. Sell a gem. Gem. Sell a sword. Sell a life. Sell a gem. Gem sold. You now have fourteen gold and fourteen gems. Buy a sword. Five gold. Sword purchase. Ooh. 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 Okay. Shop. Buy a sword. Buy a gem. Sell a sword. Sell a life. Sell a gem. Three gem sold. Sell a gem sold. Sell. Sell a life. Ten gold. Sell a gem. Sell. Buy a gem. Buy a potion. Ten gold. Potion purchased. You now have five gold and one potion. Ooh. Okay. Now I'm gonna. Twelve gems. Ooh. Go ahead and let my character heal. Two swords. Now. Okay. Water, active vanishing platform. Three feet. Water, active vanishing platform. One foot drop into a pit. When you don't hear the humming or the hissing, that means the platform is there. No weapon. Shop, buy a sword. Sword purchased. Sell a sword. Sell a light. Sell a gem. Gem sold. Sell a gem. Gem No weapon. No sword. Ah. Good. Two water active vanishing platform three no weapon selected no weapon selected shop buy a sword sword purchase one foot drop in water active vanish no weapons sword. one sword water active vanishing platform four feet so this is okay. Water active vanish. Water active vanishing platform seven feet. One foot drop into a boiling hazard. An active vanishing platform one foot. Water active vanishing platform five feet. One foot drop into a boiling hazard, an active vanishing platform, four feet. And that's why you have to be careful. Okay. Water, active vanishing platform, three feet. One foot drop into a boiling hazard, an active vanish. Oh. 
I, I recommend using the camera here. Shop, sell a light, sell a gem, gem sold, sell a light, sell a gem, gem, buy, buy a sword, sword purchase, sell a... Okay, so that fall fall tells you that that's a that's a platform. This is all about timing and patience. Water, active vanishing platform, one foot. One foot drop into a boiling hazard, an active vanishing platform, six feet. Water, active vanishing platform, three feet. One foot. Okay. Now, the next part. All right. No weapons. Shop. Sell a life. Ten gold. Sell a gem. Three gold. Shift. All right. Me. That is a leopard. I think the sound is kind of weird. Uh. So point of this is to go through and get past all these things. Sell a gem. Gem. Sell a lot. Sell a gem. Gem. Buy a gem. Sell, sell a gem. Gem. Buy, sell, sell a gem. Gem sold. You now have 14 gold and 4 gems. Sell a light. Sell a gem. Gem. Sell a gem. Gem. Buy. Sell, sell a gem. 3 gold. Gem sold. You now have 23 gold and 1 gem. Buy a gem. Sell a gem. Gem sold. Buy. Buy a sword. Sword purchased. Buy a sword. Sword. Buy a sword. Sword. Buy a sword. Per buy a sword. Sword purchased. Okay, now. Sword. Yeah. Four sword. These are mine. Two. These are mine. This is your next weapon. Uh, yes. Yeah, some of these you have to jump up for. Mine. You can place these, and uh, when things step on them, they will die. Go away, I don't care. Excellent. I'm just gonna walk away from these guys. Go away. 
Yeah, see, this is not Tomb Hunter, because I'm outside, there are leopards. Why would leopards be in a tomb? This game needs to be changed, because, I mean, what, are, are you traveling between tombs? What, I mean... This game is not Tomb Hunter. Now... Ah. 14 mines. Let's set some mines here. Yeah. Okay. Checkpoint, seven feet. Wall, eight feet. Now, the, there's a boulder here, and from what I can tell, the objective Rope. One foot. is to... Nine miles. Okay. PC status. Protected. PC status. Protected tool tip. Oh, shut up. Uh, no one's gonna use that? Alright, fine. No potions. Uh, now... Oh, come on. Uh huh. Excellent. Three hundred horsepower, six lives. Bold. One. Uh, no gems. No potions. But I should have done. Ooh. 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 Okay, I'm done. There. Now. Level call. Two. Mine, seven. So, yeah. Level 12, nothing. Again, I'm outside. This is not Tomb Hunter. And, ha and how did I climb up a rope? Uh, I just... Sword, one sword. Wall, three. Okay. Nothing. Top of ladder, 10 feet. Top of ladder, six feet. Nothing. Conveyor belt, ghost, one foot, nine. Aha. Okay. Uh. Ah. Alright, so I think I'm going to end this after this level, but let's see if I can do this here. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go on the container. Oh, nope, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. 17. 17 mines. Shop. Mine purchased. Uh, 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 I didn't want to do that. 7 gold. 7 gem. Fine. 24, 0. 26. Ah, X is your coordinates. Shop. Uh, buy a sword. Sword purchase. Buy a mine. Okay. 18th sword. So, uh, 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 for some reason. Nine. Nothing. Short grass. 10 feet. 10 foot drop onto short. We're gonna come down this rope here. Mud. 9 feet. Nothing. Now. Wall. Seven feet. If I remember correctly, this is quicksand or something, so you have to run through it pretty darn quickly, like this. Yep. 
Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Ooh, you have birds that will try to... The mine. Yeah, again, this is not. This is not Doom Hunter. Five feet. Electricity hazard one foot. Ledge two feet. Oh, come on. Excellent. Three hundred horsepower, fifteen lives, eleven potions. Okay. Seven gold, nine gems. I'm doing okay. Twenty two mine. Sword. Seven swords. So, ledge two feet. Fire hazard one foot. Ledge two. Gold three. Sword one foot. Ledge, two feet. Ledge, four feet. Ledge, one foot. So you have to jump up for some of these items. Again, I don't... I think that sword is right above the hazard. I'm not going to do that. Ledge, two feet. Ledge, three feet. Sword, nine And if Mason or NS is actually watching these, please change the swords, because again, really, you should not be able to throw swords. Like, add a stamina stat or something. This is weird. Nothing. And I'm going to end this pretty soon, because I know this has been going on for quite some time. So there's the scroll. Which, by the way, is never stated what's in these scrolls, but that's all right. Nothing. All right. Yeah, is it raining? Yeah, there are rain sounds. Okay. All right. Level thirteen, tomb five. You attempt to enter the tomb when a guard stops you. Thinking who is he to stop me, you fling the sword at him, but he leaps out of the way and the sword goes flying into a wall instead. Taking advantage of your distraction, the guard steals your inventory and tells you that you are gonna play a Boulder Scroll sword game, and that if you win, he will give you your inventory back, and even his own, but that if you lose, he will keep your inventory. Press enter to continue. The rules are as follows, at the beginning of the round, you will choose your piece by pressing keys 1, 2, or 3 for Boulder, Scroll, or Sword respectively. Boulder breaks the sword, scroll covers the boulder, sword cuts through the scroll, and same pieces tie. You will play three rounds, the winner is the one with the most rounds won. Press enter to continue. 
All right, so yeah, th this is basically a rock, paper, scissors game. Are you ready to play? Yes, no. No, I'm not. Main met start new game. All right, so I'm going to end it there. Audacity, audacity, track. So, uh, join me in part four to continue this very strange, not really Tomb Hunter-ish adventure. Bye.